So people are increasingly wearing devices that have sensors on them. So for example, things like smartwatches, Apple Watch. And people are wearing these for lifestyle reasons, to, to monitor their fitness levels and their, and their health. Um, but the fact that they have these sensors on them while they go about their everyday life means that there's an opportunity there to measure people's emotional reactions in real world situations um, across millions of people in real time. And that is a huge opportunity for marketers to understand how people are responding in the real world, whether it be while they're shopping, watching ads or going to the cinema, for example. Many parts of everyday life are increasingly being driven by algorithms. So for example, we're already familiar with the fact that our credit ratings are decided by algorithms and that are calculated and that these determine how much money we're able to borrow. But the use of al algorithms is growing and things like um, the ads that we see, the recommendations that we get online and even the prices in some instances of the things that we're asked to pay for things can be controlled by algorithms. And these algorithms are based on models of our behaviour and are trying to predict our future behaviour and our future reactions to things. And this is very much within the realm of neuromarketing because it's obviously about trying to model and understand human psychology. And this is going to be a huge area of neuromarketing in the near future. There are a new generation of neuro tools which work online that will uh, enable market researchers to run studies with consumers um, from their home computers. And this is a lot more cost effective than the, the old style of neuro research where you had to bring people into a central location, fit them with sensors or put them in some kind of brain scanning machine. Um, and the, the benefit of this is that it's um, allowing neuro tools to be used by a wider array of, of companies so it's, it's kind of democratizing the technology um, a little bit like uh, when computers moved away from being something that only big companies could afford to something that every company had in their office.